Hello and Happy New Year. My name is Michu and I'm a member of the NUWA Athletic Club, a lion dance troupe based here in Boston. In the past, we have done a lion dance performance for the Lunar New Year at Powell Arts Center, including a storytelling about the origin of lion dance and a demo in which kids get to try on lion heads, play instruments, and learn how to lion dance. Even though we can't do that in person this year, we still want to share with you the art of lion dancing and continue passing on our cultural heritage. So on Saturday, February 13th, we're going to do a live stream performance hosted by POW Art Center. We'll do everything we usually do, including teaching you the dance. But what do you need in order to lion dance? A lion head. So in this video, I'll show you ways you can make your own out of basic craft supplies, recycled materials, and other household objects. There are many ways to make a DIY lion, from transforming a cardboard box into a magnificent lion head, to simply taping a face onto a laundry basket. Or if you don't feel like dancing, you can even turn a paper bag into a lion puppet. No matter what kind of lion you make, it's a good idea to have an adult help out, especially with stuff like cutting cardboard, or if you choose to use tools like a hot glue gun. Okay, let's begin. I'm going to use a cardboard box base and gather some craft supplies, recycled material, and other things from around the house that I think would be good for this project. If your box has flaps on it, you can use one of the flaps as the lower jaw. Trim it to a semicircle shape. Then hold it against the box and trace with a pencil. Now we're going to make the opening of the mouth. The lower jaw needs to be able to open and close, but also stay attached to the mouth. So cut out the semicircle shape, but a little smaller than the jaw flap. This way, when we cut it out, there's enough cardboard here to support the jaw. If your box doesn't have flaps, or you're using something else as a base, you can also simply attach a jaw with string. Cut out a semicircle and tie it to your base at the two corners. Make sure it's secure, but loose enough to move. Now let's consider the design of the base itself. Before we add more facial features, we should decide if we want to change the color or the shape. I'm going to use some scrap fabric and paper to cover the brown cardboard, but first I'm going to cut off the other three flaps and cut out two handles on the sides to make it easier to hold while dancing. Then I'll add the fabric and the paper details. You can use lots of different things to decorate your base. Scrap fabric from old clothing, construction paper, paint, even gift wrap. I'm also using the excess cloth as a tail. You can add one to yours if you want by stapling, tying, gluing, or somehow attaching long flowy material to the back. This detail is optional, especially if you don't have a partner to be the tail. Now we can add some more facial detail. For the mouth, I'm adding a tongue and some teeth. I'll also add some ribbon to make the beard. Now let's make the eyes and ears. You could draw or paint them directly on, or make them out of something like construction paper and attach them. Time for the nose and pom-poms. Again, you could draw or paint them on, but for the nose, I'm using construction paper. For the pom-poms, I'm actually going to use two shower loofahs. If you have art supplies, you might already have pom-poms you can use, or you can make them out of yarn, or even use things like gift bows. I like these because I can easily attach them with the strings they already have. Just poke a hole in the cardboard, thread the string through, and tie a knot to secure it. Some lion heads also have a horn on top. I made one out of cardboard items from the recycling bin. And let's cover the base with some decoration to hide the tape there. Lastly, let's add a mirror to the forehead. You can use shiny or reflective material like aluminum foil or something from your recycling bin like this container. I'm going to cut a circle out and make a border for it, then attach it just below the horn. Looking good. Now we're basically done, but I may go back in and add some more details. Traditionally, all the elements you see on a lion head have significance and mean something important. For example, the mirror is meant to reflect negative energy and ward off evil spirits. I won't go into all of them now because then this video would be way too long, and also I've learned other troops may have different meanings for the details they have on their lion heads. So it's okay if you don't include all these details on your lion, the most important thing is that you like it and can dance with it. Now that we're done with this lion, let's take a look at the examples my team members made. First is Jeannie, who also used a cardboard box. She wrapped it in some sort of shiny material, then made facial details out of paper and pom-poms out of a colorful yarn using this cardboard wrapping trick, and added some fluffy cotton trim to her final product. It's looking very ferocious. Next is Nancy, showing us a faster and easier way to make a lion. She printed out a coloring sheet and strategically taped it to a laundry basket, 
So we have a simple yet sturdy lion, perfect for practicing the dance. This coloring sheet can also be used for a paper bag puppet. Next is Kathy and her granddaughter Nara, who also used a laundry basket but in a totally different way. They used recycled material and found objects to add onto the basket. The eyes are made of an egg carton, the ears and mouth are made of cardboard with paper teeth, and the tail and fabric details are made of an old blanket and clothes they upcycled. That line is definitely going to scare away the Nyan. Last one is by Michelle and her children Alba and Max, who went with a traditional red color scheme for their cardboard box. Their pom-poms are made of tulle ribbon, and they added lots of lovely details like the beard, horn, and the fluffy cotton trim used all over the head. A really cool detail is that they altered the shape by cutting off two corners so the eyes have more depth. Very beautiful end product. So if you'd like to participate in our lion dance demonstration and lesson, you can make a lion head before our livestream event, and then be able to follow along. Even if you can't make one, you can totally still participate and learn the moves. Footwork is just as important as wearing the head. Additionally, we're teaching some basic music to accompany the dance. So if you want your family members to play music that you can dance to, you can ask them nicely to bring pots or pans and wooden kitchen utensils to use as drums and gongs, and maybe even some metal lids as cymbals. We hope to see you then. Good luck on your lion hand and xin yang kuai le from all of us at Nua Athletic Club and Pao Art Center. Thank you.